guys, we are here with a different type of video. I wanted to share with you guys, now that I've reorganized literally all of my stickers, I wanted to show you my like foil, scripts, character organization. I'm gonna have to probably mess around. I don't know how zoomed in to be, but I'm just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna start with foil and then do characters and scripts after. So I have these three reusable sticker albums. I don't remember where these two are from. This one is from this shop on Etsy. It was gifted to me because the shipping was really bad and whatever. So we'll start with this one. You've seen this if you've watched my plan with me. So this is my kit leftovers book. And I'm just going to make sure this is zoomed in enough. Yeah, should be good. I'm just going to flip through this page by page for you to show you what I keep and how I organize my kit leftovers. So the first thing I have is little things and I have this in rainbow order. So we have red and then pink, lots of pink because as you guys know, pink is like the color in every single sticker kit. You'll see some of them are cut because of, you know, like the method where you cut a little piece off to cover that. So then I just keep the cut ones to keep cutting the same one, so on and so forth. So we have some orange, we have some extra room here, yellow, that's not yellow, I don't know why that's there. Green, you can see it kind of gets a little messy, it is what it is. Nobody really usually sees this besides me. A bunch of blue, then we move into purple, brown, um, more tans, yeah, brown and tan, black and gray. We have a lot of gray. So then I move on, okay, the little things are first because they're what I use the most. So they're like first ready to grab. So then we move into half boxes. We have red, pink, orange, yellow. So if you see these pages of green and blue are completely full. So if I use a kit and I have extra blue full boxes, I will just put them in my D-stash pile because this is full, which means I'm not really reaching for them. More blue, purple brown, gray, black. And then this is third and quarter boxes, red and pink, orange and yellow I have on the same page because I barely use those colors, green and blue, purple, brown and tan, gray and black. So then we move on to like labels of like both of these styles, red, pink, more pink, orange and yellow, again, share a page, green, blue, purple, brown and tan, gray, and then black. And then we move into like flags and I also have like the weird boxes and the post-its. So red, pink, orange and yellow, green, blue, purple, brown and tan, gray, and black. And then I just have some extra pages here in the back. So that is how I organize my kit leftovers. Anything that like I said, doesn't fit or I don't want. I have a big basket of kit leftovers and I usually just will randomly do a giveaway of those on my Instagram. Next, we have this hollow book. In this booklet, I have all of my like core four foils and it's the stuff that like, an example would be like the Scribble Prince Co. Um, foil bundles. Like the sheet with all the icons or the food icons. I never think to grab them when they're, like I get the mystery kit and a lot of the times it's gold or silver. I would never think to reach for that. So I take them off the sheets and put them in here. Or from my shop, I have icon samplers. I have the regular one, I have the food one, I have um, a couple different food ones. And coming out either depending on when you see this that came out recently or is coming out recently, a ton more like sample type icons so I throw those in here as well so what I'm trying to say is any icon or script sampler gets thrown in here so first I have gold we have some laundry payday date night date and I just kind of throw the weekend banners in at the bottom planning time grocery run target run sleep in weekend game night lazy day work in my feelings and also it's a good way to get stickers out of my collection that I'm never going to use. Like the workout ones, never happening. Coffee or Starbucks run, never happening. So I can pass those on to my friends who will use them. 
And we have takeout, and then this is from some of her newer wiggles, like the shopping, cuddle, clean, nap with my love, whatever. Then we move on to food icons. We have pizzas, we have some from SPC and some from my shop. Most of this is SPC or my shop, okay? The chicken legs from SPC and my shop, takeout boxes, tacos, ice creams, the nachos are from my shop, um, donuts, like fast food stickers and burgers, salads from my shop, french fries, the KitchenAid mixers are from my shop, cookies, pancakes, the bow tie noodles are from my shop along with the spaghettis, milkshakes, soda cans, eggs and bacon, the cutting boards and pretzels are from my shop, and then we have some sodas here. Then we move on to icons. I have it cut out and then circle. Cut out, circle, if it applies, if there's both. So we have the paw prints. I use these to mark playing, like a game that I play on my computer called Planet Zoo. Um, gift boxes, washing machines, um, fork and knife. These ones are from my shop and these are all from SPC. Laptops, some fast food and like fork and knife. Some YouTube ones, filming, the clinking glasses, TVs. These really need to be moved up there, but it's whatever. Some hearts, YouTube play buttons, money related. Um, I used to use um, paper clips to mark filing at my old job. Maybe I will at my new job. No idea really how that's going to go yet. We have houses, airplanes, envelopes, at symbols, which I would use to mark doing reports at my old job. Might not need those anymore, but we'll see. Some cameras, balloons, cars, credit cards, boxes, phones, um, shopping carts. And again, this gets rid of like the icons that I'll never use. Like the person running, don't do that. The face mask, don't do that. Some shopping, pencils, um, have a couple little bonfires, Game Boys, face masks, pillows, beds, cleaning stuff, sticker stuff, cooking, computers, rings, grocery or laundry baskets, books, printers, cards, tickets, undies, and cakes. Then I have an extra page and then we move on to rose gold. And we have laundry, takeout, target, family time, cuddle time. I miss these like scripts from Scribble Prince. I really liked those. One weekend banner. I don't have a ton of rose gold in here. And then it's like the same concept with all the foods. And then moving into the icons. I'm gonna go through these other colors a little quicker because I already did explain the whole thing to you. So then we'll move on to silver. And you can see now there's like some empty spaces. I could print and cut myself some stuff from my shop to refill these. I've been using a lot of silver lately. As you can see, this page is like almost empty. Was full at one point. And then hollow, which is my biggest section. I have a lot of hollow. Like this is still all scripts. Like I just miss these ones from SPC. Um, and some bunch, had so many weekend banners. I pretty much had a whole page of them. Then we'll move into the foods and there's just so many different types of hollow. So it's fun to get to see all the different options. So we move into the icons. And this makes pulling them so flippin' easy. And that is everything in this booklet. And then I have this one with the Dementor on it. And it's literally like the same concept as this one, but with colorful foils. So this had a lot of red scripts on it, but I used a lot of them at Christmas time. And then I just did a Cruella spread. So they're pretty much gone. There's a couple more here. And then we have the foods in the icons in red. And then we move into pink. Lots of pink. Orange. Green. This is like that see-through one. You can barely see it probably on camera. So it's not just a bunch of random blank spots. We've got blue. More blue and then purple. Oops, skip the page. And then this is all lavender hollow, which I'm obsessed with, so I bought like a bunch of. More lavender hollow. 
And then Rainbow, which is my least favorite foil of all time. I do not see the hype in it. I find it, cause like once they're taken off the sheet, they just kind of look silly. But nonetheless, I have a lot of it. And then I have a little bit of like this taupe color, black. And then I got this, I think as an oops, this like weird gold, silver and black foil. So that's everything for that. So if you ever see me pull these out in any of my videos, you now know how they look, I guess. Next, I'm gonna go into the most boring of my binders. I have this, literally there was tape on it. It's like just a plain pink. I think this is a one inch binder. This has barely anything in it. Let me see. Okay, I think this will be okay. Literally in this front pocket. The problem with if I zoom out is you can see the legs of my tripod. So I'm gonna zoom in to the point where you can't see them. Okay. So in here I have a bunch of day extenders that are unfoiled. And then I have my whole protectors and date numbers here because I reach for them in every spread. And then I have I have like a bunch of these that I got in like um foil misfit bags from Scrabble Prints Co. They're all gold. I didn't have room for them in my Thing. So I'm just keeping them here until I have room to refill them. I have this literally, it's so stupid how I have stuff in here. This is all um, the Prairie Planner glitter headers and I have countdown scripts from my shop. And then these are all like full foil boxes from SPC and Cricut Paper Co. That I can pull in. I just have them in here and then I have a bunch of extra sticker paper, like the reusable paper in the back here. Nothing fun. Don't reach for this a ton besides for those like two things that are in there. Next, I will get into my big old like three inch white binder. And this is my overlay binder. Um, and underlays, I guess. I don't really like, yes, I sell them, but I kind of just make them as I need them. So I don't really have a ton in here, but I'm gonna go through each pocket and show you guys what I have. So this top one is mostly 15 millimeter strips or underlays. So we have, if I do this, is it still in the screen? Yeah, okay, cool. So I have this one from Sticker Obsession Co. This is from SPC. I do not keep the bundles together. I pull them apart and put them in their corresponding area. So more Scribble Prints Co. This is a foil like page topper from Planner Pixie Co. Then we have a bunch of these, which I do like because in the random pull kits, you do not get the 15 millimeter washi. Uh, more of the page toppers. And this starts with gold. I should have mentioned that. So these are all just gold. That one's an overlay and then there's, they're literally in no order. They're literally just tossed in here in the corresponding section that they belong. So that's all of the gold, like 15 millimeter type of shit I've got. And we'll shove that back in there. These are the two, I have a two pocket and then a four pocket, two pocket, four pocket. You'll see as we go. And then this is like the longer sheets that are like full box overlays. So this has some headers, but it is what it is. There's two sheets of that. The There's a bunch of SPC bougie boxes in here. Um, yeah, and then I have like a bigger sheet of full box overlays. This is the Tangled sheet from my shop, the Landmarks from my shop, um, one of the Disney combo sheets. Some really old birthday overlays from Sticky Essentials. And then I have these overlays from Magnolia Boulevard. I don't know why I literally just de-stashed all of them. So that will actually be de-stashed. So then I have a four pocket. Continuing on with gold, this is where I keep all of my headers. I have two sheets of these from Sticker Obsession, some Wild Summer Designs, Sweet Bean Plans Disney, and then we have like the solid ones from Scrubble Prints Co. The full gold ones are so fun. This is like a navy. And then we have that. So that's the header over this. Clearly I need to buy some more gold ones because I don't have a ton. 
pop some of those in my next order. And then this is um, header overlays and like ones that have the full boxes as well. And like more full, it's essentially full box overlays that aren't on a big sheet. So we have the corners here from SPC, literally like a million of like these pages. Um, some Sticker Obsession Co, SPC, more SPC. Um, I also do have my um, foiled day extenders in this pocket. Um, this is from Rose Colored Days, SPC. Um, this was from Love Shara, Sticker Guru, Sticker Guru, more SPC. And I think the rest of this is just SPC. The next one is date covers and date dots. Um, I saved these because it has the date numbers on the page as well. So we have all of these from SPC. And then I think literally all of this is just gold foiled date covers, which I bring into kits that do not have deco. So it's nice to have lots of options. Okay, and then this last pocket is like deco bits and flags. So it's like a bunch of these SPC little deco bits. These are like kind of big ones, but. And then I also have like gold foil flags. And then I have these like little corners. This is from Strawberry Creek Designs, I think is what it's called now. And yeah, just a bunch more from SPC. So that is my gold section. And then we go from gold to rose gold, which is much, much smaller. Again, with the 15 millimeters, we have a sticker obsession, SPC, more of the toppers from Planner Pixie. I have a million of these black ones, honestly, like, and the marble. So literally all of this is that. And then more of the page toppers. The only thing I have in this next little pocket down is the profile overlays in rose gold from my shop. I'll pull it out so you can actually see it. Just these. And then headers. Again, we have Sticker Obsession Co. We have some like rose gold and silver mixed metal, which I just have in here. These are some kind of like crazy ones from Scribble Prince Co. Um, some like just confetti, more of the two colors, the mixed metal. We have a lot of the marble ones here. More marble, more marble. And then we have some from Rose Colored Days. And then we have some Sticker Obsession Coat over here. And more Scribble Prints Co. Mixed Metal, more Mixed Metal, some really old Sticker Guru. Um, there's like one left on here from SPC. More SPC, more scrib Sticker Guru, more SPC, some Rose Colored Days, Cozy Paper Co., Scribble Prints, Scribble Prints, Scribble Prints, Sticker Guru, Sticker Guru, and then SPC, and then my Day Extenders that are foiled. Sorry this video is really boring, but I like watching videos like this and I've had requests for it. So then date covers we and dots. This is from Cozy Paper, SPC, and I think, yeah, it's literally like a million of these marble ones from SPC and a black one. And then for the deco and the page flags, and we have these little random labels as well that I threw in here along with these ones and then a million of the marble. After that, we move into silver, which is silver and hollow I have so much of. So this is one of the newer formats from Scribble Prints. We've got an overlay, we've got that, we got some butterflies from Scribble Prints, Scribble Prints, Scribble Prints. This is hollow, so we'll fix that situation. I did literally just reorganize this and apparently I still have mess ups. Planner Pixie Topper, and then yeah. So like, I got like a bunch of the random full like 
misfit stuff and it's literally a million of these black and white silver ones which is fine because like they match a lot there's literally more in here here's more and more so i have a million of those and then we got some more planner pixie toppers and a sticker obsession co i did buy like the princess collection or whatever in the four four foils so that's why you're seeing so much of that haven't used any of it yet and then into this section we have some bougie boxes um some star wars overlays more full box overlays and headers the other half of those bougie boxes a set of area 51 underlays from my shop and some like misfit quote overlays from my shop if you have a shop you know like if things are misfit and you think you could get used for it you're like okay i guess that's mine now into the headers sticker obsession co and again spc um i have about a million of these bows again for the same reason literally all of these are these bow headers some butterflies some plaid some like peach and then full silver back is randomly killing me okay some full boxes from sticker obsession co again this is hollow why am i terrible at this tried to be prepared but here we are a million things here from spc more spc um some sticky essentials I believe this is spc spc Sticker Guru, SPC, and SPC. And then we have the date covers, and it's like a bazillion of the peach and the plaid ones over and over again. And then I have these ones from Cozy Paper Co. And then the deco bits, SPC, and then a bunch of the flags. Moving on to Hollow, which is the most fun to look at in these videos. Um, gonna put this in here this topper from planner pixie we got some scribble prints co i love this one with like the sparkly and the regular hollow this one's fun like the disco ball the more like whimsical bow is i think what it's called black and white more overlays um i don't know what happened to the outline but whatever this is the sticky committee more from them planner pixie co spc spc sticker obsession co and then two more from spc so that's the hollow like toppers and 15 millimeters into the full boxes we have the star galaxy one overlays from my shop spc Two sheets of that, two sheets of this. This goes up here. So much for my organizing last night. I literally like stayed up to do it so I could film this and then here we are, but whatever. This is the frozen overlays, the castle overlays. This doesn't go in here. And then more bougie boxes. both go in here so do one of those headers um yeah got a, the i guess the bougie boxes are in here for this one because the other pocket's so full so we have a bunch of hollow headers from scribble prints co these are from sweet bean plans sticker obsession co second sheet of those because there's not enough on one sheet for a whole spread and then the rest was from spc and then ugh, this next pocket is jam-packed we have these quote overlays and some more stuff here that's from the sticky committee i guess because the last thing that looked like that was sticker guru and then like literally i feel like everything else in here is pretty much spc well, there's some rose colored days spc spc it's more i'll just let you know if it's not this is the Sticky Committee, Scribble Prints Co., Cricut Paper Co., Sweet Bean Plans, Scribble Prints, Caress Press, 
Um, this is all SPC, the sticky committee, more SPC, SPC, Sticker Obsession Co., Scribble Prints, and Sticker Guru, and then all of these are Scribble Prints Co. So, a lot of hollow. And then date covers and date dots. These are from my shop, from the Liz bundle that came out a while ago. And then Scribble Prints, Scribble Prints, Scribble Prints, Scribble Prints, Cricut Paper Co., Scribble, scribble, more scribble, a couple more, literally all of this is SPC, Cricut Paper Co., another one from my shop, and then some SPC. Lots of hollow dates. And then we're going to move on to flags and a deco bit. Scribble Prints Co., Cozy Paper Co., Scribble Prints, Scribble Print, <sighs> SPC, Cozy, SPC. All these little deco bits are from SPC. Same with these flags, and everything else in here is actually SPC. Okay, so next we have all of my Lavender Hollow, which everything in this section is from Scribble Prints Co., so I'm just going to flip through it. Got the like Disney pattern and then two different, or three of the bows with the stars. Then we have two of these sheets from the Disney like pattern. Nothing in here because I don't have any sheets of just headers. It's all like we have hearts, some bows, and some stars star patterns here. Two of these, or no, I lied, three of those. And then we have, I think, like four sheets here of the little deco bits. We have three stars and one of the whimsical bow. Next, we'll move into black. For the 15 millimeters, we have an SPC here, another SPC, and then one from my shop, super old, was my first foil bundle in black foil. Haven't used the 15 millimeter yet, so she's in there. Two of these sheets from Scribble Prints Co. We have just this one header sheet. I'm sure you can see it, I don't need to take it out. From my shop. And then a bunch of these here from Scribble Prints Co. We have a date number from both me and SPC. And then we have two of the star decos from Scribble Prints. Next, we have taupe, which is all from SPC. We have one 15 millimeter here, nothing in the bottom pouch. And then one thing in the headers here and in the overlays, two of the dates. And then I just have two of these corners. Next, we'll move into Rainbow, which I hate, as I've told you guys. 15 millimeters. This is hurts my eyes. It's crazy. This one, and then we have a white, and then like a prism. It's so pretty to look at. It's just so hard to pull into spreads, at least from my experience. Headers, we have a white one an overlay, a rainbow inverted, and a black one. And then over here, we just have a bunch of different rainbow things. And then for the dates, we have a white, an inverted, a black, and then a bunch of rainbow numbers. Then for deco and flags, we have some deco, black flags, um, more deco, white flags, and inverted flags. Then we move into red. This is from Sticker Obsession Co. for the Cruella stuff. Scribble prints, Sticker Obsession, Sticker Obsession, Sticker Obsession, and two more for Sticker Obsession Co. She did so kindly send me her entire Cruella like collections that's why I have so many Cruella things a bunch more of her Cruella headers 
tons of red overlays. A bunch of them are from Sticker Obsession Co. There's those ones. Then we have a bunch from SPC with the bows. And then more Sticker Obsession Co. And then a bunch more SPC. So we got lots of red in here, which is fun. I do love red foil. Date numbers, I have ones from my Haley bundle that came out around Christmas time last year, and then Sticker Obsession Co. and three SPCs. And then for deco bits, I have some SPC and then three from the Sticker Obsession Co. Then we'll move into pink, which is my favorite color besides black. We have some like little stars up here. We have these odd bows, um, an inverted like matte-ish pink. This is like a hollow magenta, a light pink, two more of these bows, and then like the clear brighter pink. I don't really remember what she called that. It was like, I think just maybe bubblegum sheer. We got a bunch more stuff from that like sheer bubblegum collection right here as well. Headers, we have this bigger sheet from Cricut Paper Co. The like hollow magenta sparkly pink, inverted, a couple more hollow pink, and then just like a light pink. Then some corners, full box overlays. This is like all SPC. I don't see the need to go through all of it. There is a lot there. These are all date numbers. We've got the hot magenta, sparkly, more magenta, like a peach, inverted date covers, um, some hot pink from Cozy Paper, pink hollow from my shop, light pink, the hollow magenta, light pink, sparkly pink, sparkly pink, and like a sparkly magenta. And then I have these three bows for deco. I have some random boxes in here and some flags. So we'll move in to orange. We've got some 15 millimeters here from SPC. Then we have the orange bougie, bougie boxes that came in the, I believe, May mystery. I didn't use them. I used orange ones from my own shop. And then some full box overlays. Nothing up here. We have one thing of date cup numbers from Scribble Prints Co. and Orange Deco. Then we can move into green. We have the like sheer mint and a regular green. A sparkly regular green, I should say. And then this is more of that sheer mint. We have like the sparkly green headers right there from Scribble Prints Co. It's all that's in there. We have a couple things here from Cozy Paper Co. It's more of like a teal green and then more of the traditional green from Scribble Prints. And then I have date numbers. This was from the Dolores bundle from my shop. Cozy Paper Co., Cozy Paper Co., and then two Scribble Prints. And then a bunch of green boxes. Um, and then some stuff from Cozy Paper Co. in that like greenish teal color. And then we've got blue. This inverted is like wild We've got an inverted blue a light blue a medium blue and a more bright blue nothing in the bottom pouch then for headers we have a Cricut Paper Co and an SPC and then over here again we have like these corners from Cricut Paper Co, some sweet bean plans, and the rest of this is different shades of blue from Scribble Prints. And then we have some date numbers and date covers from Scribble Prints Co, and some flags and deco from Scribble Prints Co. And then on to purple, we have literally one purple 15 millimeter, some purple from SPC here. Date numbers, we have the hollow purple from the Kenzie bundle from my shop and then a bunch of them from Scribble Prints Co. And then some little deco bits from Scribble Prints Co. So that is how I have my foil binder here organized. And then the most exciting 
exciting of these binders, at least in my opinion. It's the one that I most recently organized. First off, it's the cute one. It's a three inch binder, it's way too big. I can get a smaller one, but I like it. So here we are. And yeah, this is my characters in scripts. I'd asked on Instagram if I should take all the characters off their sheets and put them in a binder. Most of you said no, and then I did it anyway. And I'm gonna be honest. I love it. I absolutely love it. It makes pulling stickers so easy. I can see my whole collection. And like, I feel like the biggest drawback is you can't see where they're from. I know where all my stickers are from. Like, I'm not questioning that. I'm gonna try zooming out. Um, I'm sorry about the legs of the tripod. Is that better? Do it like this so you can't see them. Just so you can like, ooh. See the whole binder. Okay, perfect. I think that should be okay. You can kind of see this leg, but it is what it is. So this is my character binder. Got it from Target. And we're just gonna jump right on into her. So first we have um this is in alphabetical order, the categories are what I wanted to call them. If you don't agree with it, sorry, this is what they're called. Okay. So we have Animal here. These are all from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then we have Baby. This is Scribble Prince Co. and Whimsical Cat Studio. We have some um, bank stickers. This is, as I just said, I know all of the names of my shops. She's the one who does the customs. Pumpkin Paper Co. Whimsical Cat Studio, Pumpkin Paper, the Coffee Monsters Co. And then some really old Fox and Pip. Then this I just call characters, like general. A bunch of these are from, like, besides this bottom row, this is all Once More With Love. The Pokemon is the Coffee Monsters Co. And then a couple more Once More With Love, Glam Planner, and Pumpkin Paper Co. And then another um, Once More With Love. We move into Christmas. Coffee Monsters Co. Once More With Love. All the way down to here. This is a shop that's not in business anymore. Grin and Barrett, Fox and Cactus. Fox and Cactus, more Once More with Love, more Pumpkin Paper Co. Then we move into Cleaning. Pumpkin Paper Co., um, Whimsical Cat Studio, Inspire Ever After. This shop is dead to me. This is from a shop called You Plan You. As in, I will not like talk about them. I paid money for the stickers, so I'll use them, but I do not support them. The Coffee Monsters Co., super old. Millie Paper Co., Nerdy Paper Co. This is the shop that's closed. It used to be called, um, I don't even remember because it didn't matter to me because they're closed. A couple Glam Planner and then a couple that I don't know because they were on like samplers. Couple stickers. These are a bunch of Bitmoji ones I just made myself. Um, this is like La Petite Paula. My friend got those for me. This was called Banana Doodle Shop. I think it's Caffeine and Paper Co. now. Millie Paper Co. Pia Prince. Inspire Ever After. Fox and Pip. Pumpkin Paper Co. Coffee Monsters Co. Once More with Love. All the way to here. And then most of these. Um, just take that off. I don't really know what happened there. These are all... Um, Happy Daya, and then once more with Love again, and these are Pumpkin Paper Co., and these are Fox and Pip. And we'll flip it, and then this is what I call crafting, so I have like some scrapbooking stuff here from Coffee Monsters Co., and Whimsical Cat Studio, and then we have some once more with Love writing, and these organized stickers are from Love Shara. Day Off, this is from Whimsical Cat Studio, and then my gigantic Disney section. These over here are Scribble Prints Co., all Scribble Prints Co. The Coffee Monsters Co. is like the first half up into her. These like onesie ones. And then here we have some from What's More With Love. These are some really old SPC. And then all the way down to here is SPC. And then these ones are from my shop. 
um, the top rows until the symbol one is my shop. And then all the way down here, these foiled ones are from the sticky committee. Then we've got some Glam Planner, Pia Prince, Millie Paper Co., Coffee Monsters Co., um, Caffeine and Paper Co. Um, these are from Pretty Sheepy, um, Pumpkin Paper Co. Pumpkin Paper Co. Once More with Love, Fox and Pip, and Carly Plans. And then Emotions. These are all of like the emoji heads. We have Fox and Cactus, Wonton and a Million, Pumpkin Paper Co. And then these are all Once More with Love. This whole sheet is the Coffee Monsters Co. And then we have like Love Emotions, Whimsical Cat, Once More with Love, Fox and Cactus, Fox and Pip, Once More with Love. And these are bitmojis of myself, but they're from a shop called Design Ski Sticker Co. Chasing Chels, Once More with Love. This is the shop that I don't speak about. Coffee Monsters Co. and Pumpkin Paper Co. Negative Emotions, Pumpkin Paper Co. Um, Grin and Barrett, More Grin and Barrett. Glam Planner, Design Ski, Once More with Love. Um, the Shop That Closed, Design Ski, Glam Planner, Fox and Cactus, SPC. Then we move into fall. We have Millie Paper Co. and the old dinos from SPC. FaceTime, I have no idea where the unicorns are from, don't remember. And then we have Once More with Love. And then my biggest section is food. This is like just holding fork and knife, cooking, etc. That's Coffee Monsters Co. These are Grin and Barrett, Inspire Ever After, Coffee Monsters, Once More with Love, Coffee Monsters, Pumpkin Paper, Whimsical Cat, and Carly Plans. This is like sweets and snacks. Scribble Prints Co., Scribble Prints Co., and we have a bunch from the Coffee Monsters Co., Whimsical Cat Studio, Inspire Ever After, Once More with Love, and then this popsicle through the candies here is Crafty Planner Co. I don't know where the Ben & Jerry's is from. And then everything down here is from Carly Plans. All of this is from Carly Plans. All of this is from Carly Plans. We're moving into drinks now. We have Once More with Love, and then the juice boxes through this soda is from Crafty Planner. Then we have these here, here to here is Coffee Monsters Co., Millie Paper Co., and then everything else is Carly Plans. The brunch date is from Love Shayra. We have Into Breakfast to Now. This is Sticker Party, Lux Kitty Designs, Happy Daya, Crafty Planner, all the way through the pancakes, more Happy Daya. That's not Happy Daya, that's Lux Kitty Design still. This is Happy Daya. Millie Paper Co., all the eggs, and like all of these are Once More With Love, the shop that I don't talk about, Whimsical Cat Studio, the Coffee Monsters Co., that Planner Girl, and then the Mickey Waffles are from Carly Plans. We have Pizza, Inspire Ever After, all of these are Carly Plans, Scribble Prints Co., Lux Kitty Designs, I believe these pizzas are Crafty Planner Co., Once More With Love, and then all of these are Carly Plans. Then we move into just general fast food. So I have some fast food icons from my shop and then the drive through windows from Once More With Love. And then Dunkin' Donuts. I don't go there that often, so I just have these bags from Crafty Planner Co. Chick-fil-A, this is from Coffee Monsters Co., Crafty Planner, and Inspire Ever After. And when, this is Winston, <laughs> he's from Nightingale Paper Co. Then we have Burger King from Crafty Planner, and then these two rows are Nightingale Paper Co. Same with Taco Bell, the first set of bags is Crafty Planner, and then Nightingale Paper Co. And then the Wendy's is just Nightingale Paper. McDonald's, these brown bags are from Crafty Planner Co. And then next we have the Winston's from Nightingale Paper Co. These chicken nuggets here are from Happy Daya, and then we have some Coffee Monsters Go, McDonald's Doodles, and then these Happy Meals are from Carly Plans. Then we have like a burger meal. The like from here up is all from That Planner Girl, which is an Australian shop. Took a long time to get here, but the paper quality is really good and so are the stickers, big fan. Carly Plans, um, Once More With Love, Crafty Planner Co., and then the rest is Carly Plans. French fries, we have Once More With Love, Crafty Planner, Carly Plans, 
Once More With Love, Lux Kitty Designs. No, that's the Coffee Monsters Co. This is Once More With Love. And the rest of these, like the curly fries and stuff, is Carly Plans. Hot Dogs, the first five are Crafty Planner, and then the rest are Carly Plans. Um, I had to bring in, like, another sheet to finish here, so. And that's the good thing about this. I hated buying characters before because I didn't want to have to reorganize everything. Now, you just throw another sheet in and you're good. So just burgers by themselves. Carly Plans. Fuck that shop. Um, Coffee Monster, or no, Once More With Love, Lux Kitty Designs, Coffee Monsters Co., Crafty Planner, Once More With Love, and then the rest of these are Carly Plans. Chicken, nuggets, chicken, everything. All the ones over here are Carly Plans. These are Wild Summer Designs, Crafty Planner Co., and literally everything else is Carly Plans after this one. <sighs> Mexican food. I love Mexican food. We have all the foil tacos here from Magic Prince Co. And we have a couple tacos, nachos, and burritos from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then these are all from Coffee Monsters Co. These four are Carly Plans. Or no, these four are that planner girl. Fuck that shop. Grin and Barrett. Carly Plans. More Carly Plans. Once more with love. Is literally all of these to here. Then this sloth is Design Ski. The Pumpkin Paper Co. Crafty Planner. And then we have Whimsical Cat Studio. Which goes into the next page. And then there's like the Bitmoji of me with like the tacos. That's Design Ski. One time in a million. And then these nachos and these tacos are Inspire Ever After. And then the foil nachos are from my shop. They were a misfit so I just, they were now mine. We have some pasta down here, um, Happy Diet and Once More With Love. Salads, we have Once More With Love is the first two rows. And then here through here is Carly Plans. And these are Crafty Planner, Happy Diet, Wild Summer Designs, and Deluxe Kitty Designs. Then we have Grilled Cheese from Happy Diet, um, Wild Summer Designs, and Carly Plans. Asian food, all of the ones that look like this are from that planner girl. Then these white ones are from Crafty Planner, along with the fortune cookies and sushi rolls. These are Happy Daya, Inspire Ever After for these egg rolls. And then this bottom row is the Coffee Monsters Co. And then we have Happy Daya down here with the soup. Pretzels, Happy Daya, Crafty Planner, Carly Plans. Onion rings from Carly Plans and PBJs from Carly Plans. So now we move into Friends. Um... These are ones of me and Carly that I made myself, ones of me and my friend Kenzie I made myself, and then ones of me and my friend Kieran I made myself, and ones of me and my sister I made myself. And then these ones of me and my sister doing the whip and the nene are from Designs Key Sticker along with these ones of me and my friend Shanna. The dad's house is from Happy Daya. We have some blonde and brown ones from Fox and Pip, and then the same thing but from Millie Paper Co. I have like the blonde girls and the brunette girls from Pumpkin Paper Co. A bunch of Once More With Love and the Coffee Monsters Co. And then more Coffee Monsters Co. Grin and Barrett. I use these ones when I visit my friend Caitlin. The two blondes hugging is from La Petite Paula. And then I have the grandma ones in here as well. It's like friends and family from the Coffee Monsters Co. Next we have um, gaming. So we have all of the like foiled icons from my shop along with the specific Pokemon and Mario ones. Next we move into the Nintendo Switches. These are from Wild Summer Designs, Inspire Ever After. That's an SPC one. Then we have the Fox and Pip. Once more with love, that planner girl. That planner girl all the way down to here. We have three Coffee Monsters Co. there and then a bunch of Carly plans. Then here's like gaming controllers, the Coffee Monsters Co. Crafty Planner Co., Scribble Prince Co., um, Once More With Love, Happy Daya, and Carly Plans. Pokemon, we have Inspire Ever After. Well, this is like specific games. So I have Pokemon and um, Animal Crossing. The Animal Crossing is from Coffee Monsters Co., and the Pokemon Ball is from Carly Plans. Um, game Night, we have some from the Coffee Monsters Co., and Once More With Love, and then these are from That Planner Girl. Bunch of D&D &D icons, 
this one and up is from Inspire or is from that planner girl and these ones down is from Fox and Cactus. Just we have a dice, like pawns and cards and bowling, all from Carly Plans. Then we move into grocery. We have Once More with Love, You Plan You, Happy Daya, then a bunch of Carly Plans shopping carts, Whimsical Cat Studio, and then the rest of these bags are from Carly Plans. Hair, Millie Paper Co., Whimsical Cat Studio, and then the shop I don't really support. Then my mile long Harry Potter. Um, these Harry Potter clappers are from Rose Colored Days, and then the rest of the icons are from my shop. These are my custom Pumpkin Paper Co. girls, Harry Potter girls. And I want you to know that, like, my person is holding Voldemort, and I was the only person who picked that. She told me. I love that for me. And then I made some of me and my friend Mackenzie together with hers. We have a bunch of them from Wonton and a Million. These stickers are entirely too big to ever use. Um, these doggos and the rememberalls are from Nerdy Paper Co. We have the llamas and the um, Fantastic Beast stickers are from Sweet Bean Plans, Millie Paper Co., Pumpkin Paper Co., Fox and Pip, Coffee Monsters Co., and Once More with Love. Fox and Cactus, Grin and Bear, and SPC. We just have some house stickers from Once More with Love. Then we move into Laundry. Nerdy Paper Co. We have the Dobby doing laundry. Once More with Love. Lines of Clothes. Cricket Paper Co. Crafty Planner Co. Fuck them. Um, Wild Summer Designs. Whimsical Cat Studio. That's from Carly Plans. It'll be coming out soon or is depending on when this comes out. You Plan You, The Coffee Monsters Co, and then that shop's closed. Next, we move into what I call just like Lazy Day, which is where I keep all my TVs. I use my foil TVs more than anything, so I have a whole sheet for the four different colors. Then we have this whole sheet. These are from the Prairie Planner, and then we have some Wild Summer Designs, and then down here at the bottom is Carly Plans. Um, once more with love for the first two rows, and then to here, Pia Prince, Whimsical Cat Studio, the shop that's closed, You Plan You, Coffee Monster Co., and um, Fox and Pip. Mail. Um, the foiled ones are from um, Magic Prince Co., and then we have the old dinos from SPC, the shop that's closed, the shop I hate, um, that Planner Girl, Fox and Cactus is the Hedwigs, and then Wild Summer Design, or, whoa, no. Then Whimsical Cat Studio, and then we have Movies, Whimsical Cat Studio, and Once More With Love. Music is all Once More With Love. Nails, these bow polishes is from that Planner Girl, and then everything else is from Crafty Planner Co. For Payday, we have the shop that's closed and the one that's, fuck them. Once more with love, Cozy Paper Co., Design Ski, Cozy, Whimsical Cat Studio, The Coffee Monsters Co., and then these are all Carly Plans. And then I have all of like my cameras and stuff under photo. So we have a bunch of like the filming cameras. These, the style is Carly Plans. The black ones are from that planner. Actually, the black ones from here up is Carly Plans, and then from here down or to here is um. That planner girl and these bottom five are Carly plans. And then we have period. The pads are from Carly plans. The fuck it, it's Shark Week and it's Shark Week bitch are from Moore Avenue. The cramps are from Once More With Love. These ones and these ones are from Coffee Monsters Co., Pumpkin Paper Co., and Happy Daya. Then we move into planners. From here to here, the ones with the hearts on the front is Crafty Planner Co. We have some SPC. These pink ones are all from Sticky Essentials. And then these sparkly ones are from that Planner Girl. These ones, like the flat lay, I don't know. I got them as a gift and don't remember. The Butterbeer and Plan is from Nerdy Paper Co. Fuck you. Um, this is Pumpkin Paper Co. Once More with Love. Whimsical Cat Studio and Carly Plans. Then we have Reading, which I barely do, so I don't know why I have so many. The books are from Magic Prince Co., Whimsical Cat Studio, The Coffee Monsters Co., Once More With Love. Then shopping, I have these Accio stickers from Inspire Ever After. Oops, bought more stickers. That is from Sweet Bean Plans. The Hobby Lobby is from Millie Paper Co. along with The Market. 
These ones are from Pumpkin Paper Co., Once More With Love. We have the Coffee Monsters Co., Victoria's Secret. We have two Amazon Crafty Planner Co.'s down there. And then we have the Brittany Oops, I Did It Again with all the planner stuff um, from Fox and Pip. Then we have Sick. We have Whimsical Cat Studios. Um, the Coffee Monsters Co., Once More With Love. And then the tissue boxes are Carly Plans. Sleeping, we have Whimsical Cat Studio, Pumpkin Paper Co., Cozy Paper Co., Glam Planner, Once More With Love, Pia Prince, Grin and Barrett. These beds are all from Carly Plans. Coffee Monsters Co. I don't remember who those pillows are from. Crafty Planner Co. is like the little marshmallows. That's her character, Ellie. And then we have more face masks, pillows, and moons from Carly Plans. Summer, we have Millie Paper Co. And then we have the barbecuing ones from Pumpkin Paper Co. Swimming, Once More With Love. A bunch of barbecues from Carly Plans. All of these swimming beachy ones are Carly Plans. Sandboxes are playing in the sand with like the dinosaurs um, scribble prints. Grin and Barrett. And then I didn't really, well, these are Millie Paper Co. And I didn't know where to put these Pride stickers or 4th of July. So I just put them in the summer because they're both June, July, summertime. So that's where they live now. We have Target. We have the foiled ones from Magic Prints Co. And then we have um, Coffee Monsters Co. and Crafty Planner Co. Then we move into tattoo. All of these tattoo guns are from Azalea City Planning. We have these four from, what's that shop called? The Sticker Party. These tattoo appointments were a gift, so I'm not sure. And then once more with love. Traveling, we have once more with love, Happy Daya, and more once more with love, Valentine's Day from the Coffee Monsters Co. Wax stickers, we have Pia Prints. These are from Fantasy Wax that came in my bundles. Scribble Prints Co., Crafty Planner Co., more Fantasy Wax, and then all these like tea light warmers are from Carly Plans. Wedding, we have the Corpse Bride ones from Pumpkin Paper Co., and then some Once More With Love. Winter, these ones are Once More With Love, and then the bottom ones are Coffee Monsters Co., and then my work section is disgusting. I use them a lot, so I always am buying them. We have a bunch of computers here from my shop. Then we have Glam Planner, Happy Daya, Whimsical Cat Studio. These gray printers are from Chasing Chels. These laptops are Carly Plans. These laptops are from That Planner Girl. And then everything on this page is from That Planner Girl, along with these Fox ones. Then we have the peaches from Pia Prince, and then the bottom half is all Crafty Planner Co. These are Crafty Planner Co. along with these, and we have SPC, and these silhouettes, actually everything else on the bottom of this page and all of this page is Carly Plans. And then we just have YouTube as our last like character icon section. These are all from my shop, I use these all the time. And then I have some from the Coffee Monsters Co., Pia Prince, Whimsical Cat Studio, and Carly Plans. So then we move in to the scripts. Cleaning. Um, Banana Doodle Shop, which is I think caffeine something now. Those are from Grin and Barrett. I got those as a gift, so I'm not sure. I have some watch stream scripts that are under like a computer. Um, couple, I have the SPC dates. I have a bunch of With Chris ones from JoJo Quant Plans and from my shop. Day Off from Sweet Bean Plans. These are all the Disney things from SPC along with this entire page and here. These are um, Emotions, I believe is next. These are all just Harry Potter ones that I had. And then those are from More Av. This page is negative all the way to shitty day is from my shop and then these ones are from Love Shara. This she all the sad bitches from my shop and then these are all from Inspire Ever After. More Av, Inspire Ever After, More Av. The I Don't Give a ones are from More Av and the Bloody Hell is from Inspire Ever After. So we have food, we have a bunch of restaurants. Besides these two stickers, these two are from JoJo Quan Plans. Everything else is from my shop. Fast food all from my shop. Friends this is all from my shop. More friends. These ones that say Drina's or JoJo Quan. Everything else is my shop. Games. Um, 
everything besides these trivia nights is my shop and these my friend made me before I even started making stickers just randomly some grocery ones from my shop washing your clothes these ones are from caffeine and paper co and then these are from more av this is like lazy day tv shows all from my shop same here happy mail these top ones are lux kitty designs and then my shop payday all the foiled ones are mine and the black ones are from carly plans film is from my shop and flow is from my shop same with planned these are like self-love um these like go to hell anxiety and lost my shit or inspire ever after once more with love um caffeine and paper co inspire ever after um caffeine and paper co inspire inspire caffeine inspire um caffeine inspire everything else is inspire ever after sick is from my shop sleep these first top row sleep in is carly plans the rest is mine from my shop targets from my shop pull wax from my shop work and youtube binge so that is it guys that is how everything besides my kits is organized and i've already gone through my kit collection so we don't need to see that again thank you all so much for watching if you did like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down either way you're helping my channel so if you could comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time bye guys